everyone, and welcome all to the Lifelong Podcast. I'm your host, Coach Molly from Three Pines Leadership, and welcome to yet another episode. Today, I want to spice it up a little bit and introduce to you one of the coolest ladies I have ever met online. She is so full of energy. I can't wait to tell you about the secret project she's been working on that we're going to tell you all about. So before I get into anything much deeper, make sure you find me on all of your social platforms. I'm Coach Molly with an E on Twitter, Three Pines Leadership on Instagram and YouTube. You know, you can find the podcast on all of your favorite podcast platforms and in video format on YouTube. All right, enough with that. I want to introduce you to my guest. Actually, no, I want my guest to introduce herself to you. So who are you and what do you do? Hi. (laughs) Well, my name is Taylor Swan. I am an elite health coach and digestive specialist. So I help people cure their digestion issues. Well, I wouldn't want to say cure. I help them with it to dramatically increase everything's working right. And um, in turn, that actually lets go of extra weight and they get these beautiful energetic bodies that they've been, they've been without for so long. And yeah, and that's what I do. And um, yeah, I help men and women, but mostly women. <laughs> so in short, sorry about the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> No worries. So when we talk about gut health, what are we really talking about? Is it just like, oh, my stomach feels bad or my my bathroom schedule's off? Like what are what are we talking about here? Okay, well, those can be a few of the things, definitely, but it mean it's it can be so much more. Um, it can be um, hair, like lifeless hair, skin, skin issues, um, nails, like you know when your nails don't look great and they're breaking all the time. It can, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. and it can be um, like just distending of the stomach on the lower um, part of the region, and yeah, definitely bathroom issues. So one day it could be constipation, the next day diarrhea, or a little bit of both or just one. Um, It can be um, stomach pains, uh, lots of gas. It can be so many different things. And then they involve, uh, they evolve and they actually can become worse over time if they're not dealt with right away. So yeah, so it's important to like really find out what it is and deal with the root problem versus just, you know, bandage it up with some sort of pill or shake or something like that. (laughs) Oh, totally. It's, it's more than just the food that we eat, thinking about it just being calories in, calories out. It's, it really is. The food that you eat is the nutrition that's going to your hair, the nutrition that's going to your skin, the nutrition that's going to your brain to help us think and help us sleep better. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> I know it's like at first it seems it's like a really embarrassing topic because like a lot of women struggle with this issue and they don't want to talk about it but this is like one of the first things I ask I'm like so how's your bathroom schedule and they're like what and I'm like yeah are you like are you going daily what's that like what does the consistency look like and some people are really open which is awesome because the more open they are the the more I'm able to like okay I can see what's going on here already right but if if they're like really shy and uh, we're going to have a really hard time actually finding out what the issues are. So, but I mean, I'm I'm that personality where people just kind of open up to me and like, Oh yeah, she's crazy. She's fine. (laughs) So you do have, you have an absolutely (laughs) contagious personality. I have to admit. Thank you. (laughs) So I know I never used to be this like out and open and I used to try to be like the shy business girl that was like all proper and I'm like, what am I doing? Like, seriously, this is not me. Like, be me, be me. You know, people want to see the real me and if they don't, well, they're not my tribe and they can just go see somebody else, right? So yeah, so um, yeah, it's me. I swear and all. I know probably a little bit too much. I try not to, but you know. <laughs> and um, but yeah, I am definitely passionate about this and making sure that people understand the underlying issue is is not always as easy as it is as you know you think it is. And a lot of times, the doctors find out or they have troubles finding out what is them and you know as I did and people um people used to say oh well just go to the doctor and I'm like I did I have I've been in and out of the hospitals and um got all these tests done and everything comes back saying it's fine 
And then you finally figure out that, okay, just because these foods are healthy doesn't actually mean that they are good for you. Okay. It might be actually making you sicker, making you gain weight, making you feel tired and all those like awful things. And then as soon as you yank it, you're feeling so much better. But then the important thing is, because people always go, oh, well, I can do this at home. And I'm like, yeah, you sure could. But when you yank certain foods, you're also taking certain nutrients out of your diet. You need to make sure that you're getting them from other sources, right? And it's like, and it's really important to actually like see somebody that knows what they're talking about and that understands and listens to your health because you know, you know your body better than anybody else does and you'll know if there's something wrong so you should be the first person to be like hey you need to listen to me this is what's going on <laughs> so <laughs> most definitely how did you get into all of this okay well I got super super sick in 2006 I was like I came back from a vacation and um you know everything was fine and a few weeks later I started getting like these digestive issues and I was like oh well maybe it was because I was in Mexico and you know like Right. I mean, maybe I picked up a stomach bug and stuff. It turns out it wasn't a stomach bug. And then I got tested for this. I got tested for that. And it was like, everything was fine. And I'm like, okay, well, what the hell? Right. And then, um, it's just like, it just got worse and worse and worse and being in and out, getting all, getting all these tests done and still no, no solution. Right. And then I went to go see a specialist and like a digestive specialist. And then he said that I would just have to live with it because there's nothing they can do. They labeled it as IBS. So I like to say it's like, it's like a bullshit term for, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. <laughs> so it's like, so it's serious. It makes people, it makes people feel like, oh my God, what do I do? I'm, you know, there's nothing they can do for me. And they give you pills. And that only masks the problem. It doesn't actually fix it. And it just got worse and worse to a point where one time, I know this is really embarrassing, but one time um, I was so sick, I actually turned white. My hands and feet got so hot. And I've never seen somebody actually look so white. And I mean, I'm pretty white and pale already, but... <laughs> and um, I actually went like ghostly white and um, I got home in time and I was just basically sitting on the toilet and head over the sink at the same time it was that bad and then I started to feel like super sick after as well and I couldn't um oops I got the internet connection here um and I couldn't really um you sort things out so um yeah it was it was dealing with that over and over. And then finally, when I came back to Canada, um, I went to go see a allergy specialist and they gave me a whole bunch of lists of what I was allergic to, but no help. So I didn't know what to do. And I thought, okay, well maybe the extra weight I gained 55 pounds, um, was from, um, me not pushing hard enough at the gym or, you know, maybe my diet wasn't as clean as it was, even though I thought I was eating healthy. And, um, so I thought, okay, well, I'll become a personal trainer and, um, you know, I'll learn. And, you know, although, you know, you learn exercises and stuff, it doesn't teach you anything about nutrition. So then I thought, okay, well, I'm going to study hard nutrition. So I spent like a long time studying nutrition, everything that I could possibly gobble up, um, literally. <laughs> and, um, and then I started, like, it was an idea in order to heal myself, right? And then I, I got such great results that I had other people asking me about it. And so I was like, yeah, okay. So I started doing that with um, some friends and stuff. And then I ended up, you know, helping other people. And then finally one year, I was like, uh, confronted by a girl that she wanted help and I thought well it's my first business client and I'm like am I really doing this am I opening up a business and um, yeah and from there and that was like three years ago um, that I worked for myself um, and yeah and then I have just developed more and more and more and it's just it's exciting how many people get results and they're like holy cow I didn't even know that I could actually get these kind of results and yeah so it's been that that's my journey and it's yeah <laughs> so it's super it's super um it's super crazy and super um exciting at the same time 
Oh, that's fantastic. And how is life in with your business? How is life in business after this pandemic's come down? Has it changed things? Did you need to pivot? What's that like? Okay, well, yeah, definitely there there was a change. So I was looking to actually free up some more time before this all went down or went sideways, <laughs> however you want to say COVID went. And um, so I really wanted to go online so that I could help more people, like especially in, you know, in different areas and stuff. So, um, so I was thinking, well, what can I do? And then kind of COVID happened and I thought, okay, well, this is a perfect opportunity to take everything online because now – the people that I work with will understand, right? Because we got to go online because we can't see people anymore um, for a while. So I, yeah, so I did that and it's been kind of slow uh, to be honest because now people are like, well, how can I actually get help online, um, you know, better than I can help get help in person. And to be honest, I actually give more to people online then I can with like somebody that I see one-on-one -on -one. so if I see somebody one-on-one -on -one, it's 60 minutes you know once a week and it's like I you know but whereas like my online program you have so much access to me and you have so much access to you know to my content and all that other great stuff that you really have the ability to make an everlasting change so in a way it's actually been pretty good oh good and now I, I think it's time that we tell people what your little secret that you've been hiding is. I think it's time yes. we tell them what the little, what the project has been. So what, what is it that, w that you have been working on secretly behind the scenes for everyone? Secretly, secretly. Okay. It's a podcast. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, it's, it's basically, it's going to be about um, your health. It's a, it's going to be about mindset and pushing yourself towards, towards like dream, your dreams. Like, you know, everybody always says their dreams are, are, you know, like a dream. It's not a reality. And I'm here to say bullshit. Your dreams are going to come true you just got to work with it and you got to have somebody behind you a team of people behind you to actually push you to do that and so that's what it's about um it's going to be great for for people that actually want to take action and and to take the podcast and go okay well this is great so how can i use this today right what can i do with this so um i we tend to get more um more results when we take things into action instead of just listening and, you know, consuming it, um, education. So action is an important thing. And yeah, so that's what it's about. And, um, the name, should I give that or should I just, uh, wait? Oh yes. Oh yes. I think so. And I think you need to give them a bit of backstory because I think it's the funniest name for a podcast. I am a hundred percent in just by seeing the name of the podcast. So what is it called? <laughs> okay, so it's called this safe word is pineapple. <laughs> so okay, right? Just yeah. So I'll tell you a little bit why. Okay, so me, I'm kind of an edgy, outgoing person. I say what's on my mind. I don't hold back. Um, I like to talk about pretty much everything and anything, and um, my boundaries are pretty limited. <laughs> <laughs> limited less I should say so yeah so it's that's kind of the story behind it and I thought well you know because I deal so much with nutrition and and really you know helping people you know get their life back by that I had to use something with food in there and I had to use something that's going to portray that holy shit this might be crazy let's watch it <laughs> so I love I know, it. Crazy. I love it. So when is it going to be launching? When can people find it? And tell us all about that. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, launching next month. Okay. So, um, yes. And it is going to be available on um, Spotify and Apple or iTunes, whatever you go. Yeah, which, whichever one you go for. And, um, yeah, so I am trying to do a whole bunch of recordings in the meantime so that people can digest all of this stuff and um, really make an impact for September because, Honestly, I believe that, you know, this can be a really, really great year for people and they just need to take 
action. And, you know, instead of hearing so much about, you know, oh, 2020 is the worst year ever, let's change that around and make, holy shit, this is the best year ever. So, um, so I'm hoping to actually like really transform a lot of people's lives. And I am hoping that you guys are going to tune in and check out the craziness I have to offer. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. I know I'm definitely subscribing the second it launches and everyone at home, you guys should too. Awesome. I'll have a link to it somewhere. Find it. Find me. Find the link. That's how this works. Kind of like tag. <laughs> <laughs> tag for podcasts, I guess. Yes, you can wink. <laughs> Winking's oh, always good. <laughs> I know I wish right. I could, but I would just look really funny doing it. I just <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm Coach Molly. This has been the Lifelong Podcast. That's Taylor. You definitely have to check out Pineapple is the Safe Word when it launches. Make sure that you do. Until next time, everyone, remember, I love you. Be excellent to each other.